ABC, what's up? This is uh, Jeff here, just wanting to film a little update for uh, the things that I found this week. Um, I hope all of you are doing well and enjoying uh, spring and the, the great weather. I know uh, here in Montreal we've uh, been enjoying some real beautiful days of uh, hot, uh, hot sunny weather. And I hope it's the same for all of you guys in your cities as well. Um, it's been kind of a hectic week. Uh, we moved into a new home and uh, that was uh, pretty stressful having to pack everything up and then get everything unpacked and it's, just, it's always a stress. But um, during that time I managed to go out and hit some of the stores to kind of blow off some steam and kind of get away from the madness at home and uh, I was quite lucky. Had a, had a good week and um, found some cool, cool titles. Um, first thing I'll show is I uh, desperately needed a new order of my favorite inner sleeves. Uh, the I don't know if, for those of you who aren't familiar with Sleevetown.com, they make a great inner sleeve. It's just a simple 2.0 uh, anti-static clear inner sleeve. And um, if you have any records that are giving you a little bit of static issues, one cleaning and a store in one of these and you will not have any more problems with static and uh, pops and clicks on your records. So I was really excited to get that in the mail this week and it finally showed up. My uh, pre-order that I did for the new uh, Ghost album, the bundle pack that included the new album 12 inch on red vinyl, 10 inch single of Secular Haze and a t-shirt, finally showed up. So I'll just give you guys a little, oh yeah, before I go any further, this is what's playing in the background, the Deers, Degeneration Street. For those of you who are not familiar with Deers, this, this is a real band, real artistic merit, a lot of integrity. Every album is just incredibly diverse. For those of you who are not familiar, get converted, get Deers. So the first thing that came in the package that they pulled out was a t-shirt. It's just a simple black with the um, secular haze. Uh, single. If you notice, because it, because we're in North America, they had to add the BC here. I think it stands for Before Christ. They were having some copyright issues with the name Ghost that should be cleared up, I think, in the near future. So, very, very happy, and I'm seeing them Tuesday night, so at least I'll have something to wear when I go and see them at the show. Second is the Secular Haze. This is on black vinyl. Um, the Clear vinyl, I believe, was limited to 200 copies. This was limited to 1,000, and they quickly sold out. So I was very, very, very happy to get this. This has got Secular Haze and I'm a Marionette on the B side, which was produced uh, by Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, and he also played, played drums on the track. Um, played this, and it sounds absolutely incredible. Actually, Secular Haze sounds way better than the actual vinyl pressing. Um, they did a really, really great job uh, in pressing this little 10 inch. But I really wanted this in the collection, so so happy I got that. Next up is the actual 12 inch, and I'll just show you this quickly. Cool cover there. It's a thin little cover. It's nice. I like the feel of it. It's a nice textured cover with um, cool photo on the inside, little gatefold. There's the back, and it was printed on red vinyl. Very, very, very nice. I had, uh, for those of you who had seen my previous uh, video, I had bought this on CD because the CD included uh, the two bonus tracks, which the vinyl doesn't have. So I was happy to go out and get that um, because this was late coming in and I really wanted to hear the new album um, as a physical format and I was able to put it on my iPod and of course listen to it in the car. Uh, so apart from that, that's what came in. Um, I also went out to a couple of stores and was able to find some really nice titles and a few um, late entry record store D titles that I'll show. The first one that I'm really excited about is an original uh, Canadian pressing on Sire Records of the Smiths, The Queen is Dead. This is a beautiful, beautiful conditioned gatefold. Oh, that's the sleeve. That's the original inner sleeve there. Cool photo there, and the album is in mint condition. Played that uh, the other day, and it sounds so good. This is probably 
my favorite Smith's album, uh, Meet His Murder as well. And I just found Hat Full of Hollow, and the next is to find a really good condition of um, Louder Than Bombs. And I'd love to find an original pressing of that. And I'm really happy I waited to really, you know, be patient and track down an original copy because the Rhino reissues have been getting a lot of great reviews, and they're in the stores for about $22 to $24. And I almost picked this one up last week on the Rhino label, but something said just pulled off. And I was either going to order an original UK pressing on a Rough Trade um, or try my luck in the bins. And, and finally it happened uh, this week. So very, very excited about that. Okay, next up is Run DMC. This is Raising Hell. Um, this is a really, really uh, well-liked, well-loved album. Still an influential uh, hip-hop rap album to this day. Um, this takes me right back to high school. We, we listen to this a lot. This and the Beastie Boys, uh, License to Ill, um, It's Tricky, and Walk This Way. Probably the best known track on here, the collaboration with Aerosmith, um, redoing the Aerosmith classic, Walk This Way. This is a mint pressing, first press US. Um, fantastic, fantastic find. Next up is an album that, again, I've been holding off on getting the reissues. The reissues are really flooding the stores right now, and although the reviews have been good, um, when I've got the choice and it's doable, I really prefer to go for the original original pressing. And this is an original Canadian pressing, and it's um, it, it's an official. Well, it's kind of like a greatest hits, but it was released more as the official uh, soundtrack to Maximum Overdrive. And I just love the song "Who Made Who," and having the other songs like "Hell's Bells" for those about to rock, we salute you. Um, you shook me all night long is really really nice. And I think they put one track with Bon Scott singing right on. Beautiful mint condition, so thankfully I didn't pick up the uh, reissue and found that. Next up is something that I found yesterday, really, really, really excited about this. This is Love Hate. This is uh, an alternative, well, no, not alternative, uh, kind of like a rock slash uh, kind of, uh, kind of, not glammy, but they're kind of a mixture between, kind of like a Jane's Addiction, Guns N' Roses, Rat, Faster Pussycat, Motley Crue, but Jizzy Pearl on vocals, he's got one of those very raspy um, vocals, uh, very similar to like uh, the singer from Britney Fox, or even uh, John Karobi, who's sung with uh, The Scream, and um, Motley Crue, done stuff with Bruce Kulik. I really, really like singers that have that rough, raspy voice, and Jizzy Pearl definitely has that. I even liked it when he went on to work with L.A. Guns, and hearing him sing that older L.A. Guns material was amazing. But this is a first U.S. press. It's got the gold stamp up there. And I found this yesterday, and I, I couldn't believe it. That I, you know, I've been, This has been on my want list for a, a very, very long time. I remember when Blackout and the Red Moon came out, we were just playing this over and over. Uh, a friend of mine had this on cassette when it first came out, and he, t he taped it for me, and I played it inside and out, and the tape broke. So I was so jazzed to find this on uh, LP, in great condition as well. Next up is Mr. Big. I uh, found this yesterday as well, along with the Love and Hate. This is a real minty first uh, Canadian press. Um, I remember when this came out, my friends and I were totally really into um, uh, musical or musicianship type bands like Extreme. Um, a lot of the, you know, People can say Gunslinger, guitar players, Paul Gilbert, uh, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, uh, Nuno Benetcourt from Extreme. So when this came out, topped with the fact that Billy Sheehan is playing on this as well on bass, uh, it was like a no pass up. And we played this album left and right. Um, Addicted to That Rush was probably the, the best known song on here. When that came out, it was uh, doing very, very well on the radio stations here in Montreal. So to find this was very, 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 very uh, pleasing for me. Um, like I said, it's a mint press. It sounds incredible. And, um, you know, it had been, wow, probably 15 years since I've actually heard the whole album. So it was kind of like getting reintroduced to it, and I had forgotten about some of the tracks. But the, the bass tone and Billy's playing on this album is phenomenal. Um, next up is the, the last one, actually, the... White Stripes, the release that came out for Record Store Day, um, for those of you who had watched my previous video, um, I didn't have great luck on the actual Saturday. A lot of the stores in Montreal, the stock just didn't come in. Um, this finally came in a little late, 
and uh, one of the guys that works at my one of my favorite stores here in Montreal gave me a call and said, "We got your copy. Come and pick it up when you're ready." And I went yesterday and got it. So jazzed about this. This is a beautiful. Um, I wasn't expecting the nice thick cardboard that you typically see on or saw on uh, 70s or 60s uh, pressings on vinyl. Um, that thick, thick cardboard um, UK style. Really, really well done. Nice sleeves there. Thick, thick, nice uh, paper material. Thick stock. Nice gatefold. The back. And the covers are cool because, you know, I had this on CD uh, when I bought it the day it came out and Meg was wearing a, a, a white dress. And so when I looked at it quickly, I, I realized it was black. And um, I'm not sure if that is special to this pressing in particular because I know that this uh, particular album has been, uh, was originally issued and then repressed a couple of times. I think this is like the third or fourth reissue. The, the vinyl itself is so beautiful. This is kind of like cool labels there, but pressed on black and red vinyl. Really, 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 really nice. Um, a couple of people complained about receiving dinged uh, vinyls or a bit of uh, warp to the vinyl. I have to say, this is a perfect copy. Uh, no warping at all. And the second disc is completely white. Just a beautiful, beautiful copy. Uh, label. And the red on the other side. Red label. I don't think I, I've owned, other than the Venom that I picked up, which was a, a white and black splatter, I don't think I own any pure white vinyls. So this was really cool to have. I didn't realize the second disc was all white like that. So that was a nice find. Uh, there are a couple of other little things that are still on the side in one of the stores uh, from Record Store Day. I haven't had a chance to go and pick it up. Hopefully this weekend I'll head out. With the week being as crazy it was with unpacking and trying to get settled, I just didn't have enough time to hit all the stores. But I'm very, very thankful, and I'd like to thank Beatnik Records of Montreal for uh, slowly putting uh, titles aside that are coming in a little bit late. Um, he still thinks there's a good chance that uh, Porno for Pyros will come in. That would be awesome. Really, really, really like to have that. Um, they actually got the Mad Season in. Uh, I had it in my hands yesterday, but it's not the RTI pressing. It was the uh, European Music on Vinyl, uh, simply on black vinyl, and that was 40 bucks. This was 30, the white stripes, so I, I passed, um, and I hope I'm not going to kick myself down the line for that, but I'm holding out for the domestic release on colored vinyl on the uh, RTI pressing. So that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on um, the items that I found. And um, that's it. Really looking forward to Ghost Tuesday night. Hopefully they'll have some cool merch that uh, I can pick up. So that's it guys, uh, have a good day, enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any comments or questions, please do so. I, I love to read your comments and also uh, subscribe. Subscriptions are always great and uh, it's nice to know that people are just taking the time to watch the videos and hopefully you're enjoying them, all right? I'll catch you guys later, have a good day, bye.